Everybody, what is going on? Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing, and today I am at the Texas City Dyke. I'm gonna do a little fishing. Hopefully, I can catch a big ugly or two. I stopped at Boyd's, grabbed some live crab. I also grabbed, uh, also grabbed some dead shrimp. Now, the reason why I grabbed the dead shrimp is because I just wanna feel the tug. So if there's something out here that wants to bite and feed on that dead shrimp, then I'm gonna hook up. And if nothing is getting on the dead crab, then with the dead shrimp, I probably, hopefully, will catch some bait fish to cut up and put on as well. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Fingers crossed, wish me luck, and hopefully catch me hooking up. All right, one of the things I want to show you is this Malu rack. This is a pretty cool rack that I pick up. That I picked up. They have Malu. I think I'm saying all right. They have all kinds of cool stuff online. Dry bags, apparel. Now this rack, I'm gonna probably be using more. All right, I got it to be using more. A nice sticker. I got it to be using more during summertime because I do a lot of wade fishing in the surf. So I wanted a rack that I can put on and use to, when I come back to the truck to re-rig. So I brought it out here today and I hope it comes pre-assembled. Cool, because I didn't bring any tools with me. But yeah, this is a hunting and game pack. So anyway, I bought it. Looks like there's a place, there's a tray and it comes with a place so you can clip your rod your rod to. So I bought it for that, but I brought it today so I could check it out and use it today. Hopefully I can catch some fish. It'll be a little more entertaining than me just showing you this rack. Alright, so we have like four clips to hold your rod. Alright, so what this rack's going to do is going to sit on the side of your truck. See it has these stoppers, these rubber stoppers right here. And it has this rubber handle, so it's not going to dent, it's not going to scrape or scratch your paint. So it's going to, yeah, so there's a rubber stopper, it's a rubber handle, so it folds up and down, but it's not going to scratch your paint, so that was uh, important to me. Okay, pretty easy to put on. There we go. And there we go. You know, so to me, this is awesome because whenever I am coming back to the truck and I'm re rigging, you know, you always have to put your rod in the sand or, or your, your, your end of your, your rod in the sand or lean your rod against your truck and or your car, and that will take off paint because you scratch it. So, what I'll do now is take this, loosen that up, bring it to me, and then I can re-rig, which I am planning on doing, because I want to take this chatter weight off, because I am going to throw some artificial today, so I'm going to take this chatter weight off, because if you ever fish some dikes, you at the dike, you know that there's a lot of hang-ups, so I don't want to lose this chatter weight. I'm not really too concerned about the chatter noise or using the weight. A little bit of guts in there, stomach and whatnot. Trim the water a bit. And typically I like to use a bigger hook, but that's what I had in hand this morning, just kind of tying off. So I'm going to go through the leg and come out the leg right there and kind of hold it like that with that joint. So it's a nice, strong way to put your crab on and him stay on. Lean back, chunk it. All right, check the drag. Make sure you have 
let the drag to be able to flow in case you get a, a fish on. All right, so it has been extremely dead. I saw one guy a little bit away from me. He caught a big ugly. The fog has lifted, the sun has started to come out, but it is very dead out here. I caught one whiting, and I've probably been here for about two and a half hours. Now, I know that's not really that long to fish, but I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna go hit another dock. I wanna see if I can catch uh, red on this crab i know there's some reds in the area where i'm gonna go fish so i'm gonna go hit out there so wish me luck thanks for watching if you have made it this far in the video my apologies probably nothing but just clips and whatnot me talking nonsense but hopefully i'm gonna go get get on some fish so stay tuned and hopefully we're gonna go over the causeway so we're gonna head into galveston so stay tuned and hopefully catch me hooking up Look at this guy. Look at that beauty. He's so much fun. He's always out here splashing and jumping. He's having a good time. Young dolphin. Let's see if we see him surface again. There he goes, right over there. Just in frame. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Oh, nice. Yes. Got a nice speck. There you go. Hold on, man. That's the first fish of the day. I've been all over Texas City and back again. He's probably going to be probably like around at 14, maybe 15 inches. Come on. Pink goat. There you go. uh, got Eric on the phone. Say hi to YouTube, Eric. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> Eric and Gary can't play no more. I can't play today. Yeah, it's probably about 15 inches. We're going to let him go. You got to swim on. That's money. Look at the baby shrimp. Yeah, they're everywhere. That's the smallest shrimp I've ever seen. That crab right there, I'll catch a sheephead. Believe that? No. Get ready to show you. All these little crabs, gather them up. Sheep it right there. Right there. It's going and busting on that. Yep, there's one right there on the second one. I see his. He's facing the other way. He's still there. I can still see his tail. It's like towards the middle now. Now he might be facing that edge. That edge that you're on. Yep, he come out. He's right there. Oh, Cody! It broke? Nope, it didn't break. Straightened it out, I told Straightened it out, I knew it would. Cody! <laughs> Cody's so mean. I can't, I can't step back. I can't back you don't need to go that hard. You don't need to go that hard. You do not need to go that hard, okay? Oh, it's a big one. You want to get the net? You want to get the net? That is a good one. Good. 
Is this Simon? I got it, I got it. I don't want him to get onto the line to break. Hey, you want to grab his mouth? I'm no. With the pliers? Nah. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. This guy is big. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Golly, that's a big one. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it. You know, I had a great time out there. I tried to mix it up a little bit. I wanted to test out this new rack that I just got. And I wanted to go hit the Texas City die, keep my fingers crossed, and see if I can get into a big ugly. Unfortunately, there was just nothing out there biting. I saw one other guy catch a medium-sized black drum, but I think I caught one fish, one whiting, in the whole time I was there. And I was only there, for, realistically, I was only there for like two and a half hours. And I know, you really got to soak those lines. And it only took two rods on me. You at least need four to six rods. So you can get a good soak in. I know it sounds crazy for those that don't normally bank fish or fish those rocks out there. But you really need a lot of lines in the water. The more lines you have, the more probability you're going to get. The more possibility you're going to get to hooking up. Then I changed it up. Ran, fished, uh, fished some docks over there. Right over there off Galveston. Try to hook up there. I caught one nice speck when I was talking to Eric on the phone. And luckily, Cody done. He saved the show because he caught a nice sheephead. That thing was, he sent me, he, me, he measured it off camera and it measured 21 inches. And he took that thing home and really, he took that thing home and had himself a nice feast. But real quick before we jump off here, I just want to talk to you and show you about this rack that I got. I'm really excited about this. To me, this is pretty much a game changer for anybody that does rock fishing or bank fishing or simply like some like me. I really got this to primarily fish the surf. Now, during the warmer season, I'm going to be out there fishing the surf a lot, trying to hook up to those speckle trout. This is a great piece of equipment to use when I am trying to change out those lures, when I am trying to retie. So this is, to me, it's a, it's a game changer, and it came in very handy out there at the dike. Now, this is my lose rack system. I think I'm saying the name correct. Now, you can see it comes with two rod holders. You have the thicker side this, on this side and the smaller opening on this side. And it has two rack system. also has a place right here where you can... Hold your towel if you want. Like me, I'm going to be surf fishing a lot during when it gets warmer. And then it has a nice, cool tray there where you can store your fishing lures and fishing accessories like you saw earlier. And it folds up pretty easy. I mean, it is an easy fold, easy to store away, and that this will hang on any side mirror. It has a nice foam grip on it and some nice little foam padding here so it won't scratch up your car because... If you're like me, there's a lot of times where you lean your rod against your car and that rod will slide down and fall and give you a nice big scratch. You know, we call it pinstripe. Give you a nice big pinstripe going down the side of your car. But I like that rack system. It is great. Like I said, to me, it's really a game changer when you are trying to fish off the side of your car or truck. But hey... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. You can check out that rack. There's a link below. They also sell another, there's a lot of cool other stuff. And so check them out today. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.